What's going on guys and welcome to the video. So our new warehouse automation is almost completed. We're about three weeks out from being done. Uh, last week, as you guys saw, all of our new racking in suite 370 was installed. This is gonna be our flow track system, which our flow track just got dropped off yesterday. I'll show you here in a second. It's these rollers. So when the guys in the morning are loading up the flow track of inventory, They'll go from the back, they'll drop cases of inventory on the flow track, which will roll forward so that when, like, say someone is packing an order, there's four tables. Four tables can accommodate eight packers. Um, they'll, they'll be using their warehouse management system. It'll tell them what box to grab. The boxes are located up here. It'll tell them what uh, inventory or products to pull from the flow track, pack the order here push it onto the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt will run under these racks all the way down. And at the end, we'll have someone sorting packages by carrier. So it's all starting to come together. It's pretty awesome. So this right here is the flow track, which will fit into those racks. So you can see it will, it'll be at the, the complete end. And when someone puts a case onto the flow track, it will by gravity just roll forward. So it's these rollers throughout the entire thing and we'll have multiple level uh, flow track for different SKUs, different products, flavors, you know, stuff like that. So this will be installed here in the next couple days. All right, so let's break it down right now. Just a little bit of uh, some product flow with this new warehouse. So we have two units now, 360 and 370. They're both about the same amount of square feet. Now it's gonna be a lot more product flow to the warehouse. So deliveries will come into 360. They're gonna sit over there and they're gonna sit in quarantine until, until they are BSCG certified. So once they get certified by BSCG, which is the drug-free organization we use, uh, that takes about three weeks. Once they do, they'll pass quarantine and come into this warehouse, 370. Racking two, you can see we can go to four levels high, which is gonna be sweet. And uh, you know, it's, we, we just feel like we have so much more space now, we're not cluttered. What's your favorite part about this new warehouse? I, I think it's gonna be the conveyor belt. I think that's gonna be pretty awesome. It gives so much room for say. And here's the thing, it'll give us so much extra space in our room to do activities. You know, on a normal day, four people packaging. If there's like a sale, it's easy to add an extra four and break up kind of the sequence of the duties. There's just kind of a whole chain that happens until the order is picked, packed, and shipped and sent out. I think that's just a cool concept. So I want to further explain some of the things that Preston was talking about in regards to the BSCG drug-free program. Now, every time a production order lands in our warehouse, we put it in a quarantine right now, and we send it to the banned substance control group to get tested for banned substances and drugs. We quarantine in the corner of the warehouse now, but with this expansion, we will now have a section that is just quarantined supplements, which will be most supplements in unit 360. It'll stay in quarantine until we get the certification back from the banned substance control group and then it'll come over here for distribution. We don't put any banned substances in our products and a lot of other companies say the same thing. We don't put any banned substances in our products. However, we test for everything on the worldwide anti-doping agency prohibited ingredient list. So it's safe for athletes, NCAA, professional, military, law enforcement, anyone who's subject to frequent drug testing, we test for banned substances and drugs in our products to make sure that nothing happens to the ingredients from the ingredient suppliers, from manufacturing, from every part of the process because our manufacturers don't make the individual ingredients. They source the ingredients from ingredient suppliers. They bring them in, they manufacture the product. We take the extra step forward and test for banned substances with the banned substance control group. Massive initiative and program we went through this past year, but so much and so well worth it. The Nike Alpha Fly. So I've been showing these on Instagram a few times and everyone's been asking for me to talk about them on a YouTube video. Now I have Nike's other race shoe, the Vaporfly, and 
I love the Vaporfly. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's light, it's a carbon base plate, it's quick, it's fast, it's very responsive. I had no intentions of getting this shoe. However, the BPN team surprised me this when I came back for my 30th birthday. And I don't know how much they spent on this shoe or where they got it, but they got me a pair of the Alpha Flies in my size, 12 and a half. Um, so I want to talk about the shoe a little bit. I personally like the, the Vaporfly better than the Alpha Fly. I've worn this for one, like four mile run so far. I'm not going to use it much. I am going to run it today and just show some clips of me running in this shoe. But I'm going to save this shoe for a special day. I don't know when that's going to be or where that's going to be, but I just want to talk about it really quick. So as opposed to the, the Vaporfly, this one has a thicker amount of the Zoom X foam, so it sits higher. And like when I'm when I'm wearing this shoe, I feel like I'm sitting and standing significantly higher. Uh, it's a it's a big shoe. Like even when Jordan was coming out to film this clip, Jordan's behind the camera right now. He was saying like this these look massive on my feet. So it has thicker uh, Zoom X foam. It still has the carbon base plate inside. The upper part of the shoe is a little different. The Vaporfly was more of a it was like a transparent like almost nylon material and this is similar to their like the fly knit material it almost seems like on the nike shoe uh so like from from the upper perspective i like the vapor fly better um the bottom is where it's really different so the vapor fly has a a smooth like sole it's this smooth this carbon base plate sole and as you can see the alpha fly is different where it has these two like air pods, which is supposed to make the shoe more responsive, more springy. But I love, I love training in a, in a carbon base plate shoe, to be honest. Like if I could wear my vapor flies all the time, I would. It, it's enjoyable, it's fast, it's quick. It's gonna be great for a race day. So we're gonna throw this thing on and go for a little, little spin around here. Oh, bam! Let's go for a little spin. Honestly, the technology in both these shoes, the Alpha Fly and the Vapor Fly, insane. Like the spring, the shock you get as soon as your foot hits, it's amazing. So I'm constantly impressed with Nike's race shoes. Blows my mind. Here we will compare the Vapor Flies. So the Vapor Flies are the pink shoe, the Alpha Flies are the black and green shoe. Uh, like I said before, the Zoom X sole or foam is thicker than the Alpha Flies than the Vapor Flies. I do like the upper on the Vapor Flies. You can see it's like it's like this transparent material, but it's solid. And the Alpha Flies is like almost like this netting, uh, so it's a little bit different. And the bottom is where it's very, very different. So the Vaporfly is flat, as you can see there. Still carbon base plate, but flat bottoms. And the Alpha Fly, again, carbon base plate up here, but it has these air pods. Two air pods right there. So these are the, the you know, comparing the Vaporflies to the Alpha Flies right here. Oh! oh! Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Two smacks and then you and then an uppercut. Give me a little on. Oh, I'm going right. back. How was I doing that? You're going. Yeah. Oh. 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 Here you come at me. I'll hit you once and then I'll get you into a choke slam. <laughs> Preston's been watching way too much Kingdom lately. 
Too much WWE. Kingdom's actually real stuff. It's Friday afternoon. The boys are getting a little restless, getting ready to work out. As you saw Preston and Jordan fake wrestling. Don't know what that was. Got a little pre-workout mixture going into this training session. Well, bam, well, bam. We got some pink lemonade flight, some blackberry lemonade endo pump for those massive, massive pumps. And then we get some more carbs in there. And it's going to be some G1M Sport Lemon Lime. 20 grams of carbs, electrolytes, especially in this heat right now, man. It is uh, well over 100 degrees. Cheers. Are you ready? Yeah! All right, let's go. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning. We got the dogs. All right, pups. Who else wakes up and starts getting attacked by the dogs like this? Ryder's issue is that he just constantly lifts. Come on, dude. <laughs> and Remy does this thing where she yawns and she cries. Are we ready to wake up? Are we ready to wake up? Good morning. So Steph's gone this weekend, which means it is just me and the dogs. Me, Remy, and Ryder. So on Saturdays, I like sleeping in a little bit more, just resting up. Uh, I'm pretty excited here in about an hour I leave for another deep tissue massage, which I'll, I'll talk about here in a little. Uh, I'm doing chiropractics and deep tissue massage on a weekly basis, making a, a massive, massive difference. As I talked about in a few videos back, I was having some upper back and neck issues, and this has seemed to resolve those issues. So the whole BPN team, the, the staff and employees, are reading good to great right now. Uh, so we're gonna start doing like a weekly, or not weekly, a monthly book reading, discussing it on topics of business and growth and development. So good to great is the current book we're reading. So I got a little tune for you guys. It goes like this, you ready? The best part of waking up is this strong stack in my cup? We're gonna do the strong stack this morning, every morning. It's my morning routine. One scoop of the strong reds, one scoop of the strong greens this is the pineapple coconut. And then we're going to mix this together and wash down strong multivitamin, strong joints. Best part of waking up is the strong stack in my cup yeah also wanted to show you guys one of my favorite go-to breakfasts uh, high protein solid carb source now i know it looks like baby food right now but it tastes better than it looks so mix up uh, some oatmeal i did half a cup of oatmeal just cook the oatmeal as normal with some water in the microwave added uh, 60 grams of pumpkin so usually I'll get the Libby's pumpkin. It's better than this stuff, but Libby's pumpkin is like, I can't find it anywhere right now. Uh, two scoops of cinnamon roll whey protein, some extra cinnamon, and then I'm gonna top it with this fat-free Ready Whip. 
like so. Love this breakfast. Where do I even start, man? I feel so good right now. I feel like a million bucks. I just got done with a 90 minute sports massage, deep tissue massage at this place called Foreman Function here in Austin. It's on East 6th Street. And this is my second deep tissue massage in the last seven days. I got one last Saturday, got one today. Um, I've kind of talked about this in the video, two videos ago at the chiropractor appointment. But a few weeks ago, I was running. And I took this weird breath, and I got this sharp pain in my upper back, which shot up into my neck. And this was like two days before turning 30 years old. As soon as I turned 30 years old, I had a, a headache for a week straight, and it felt like someone was holding the back of my head. So I went to the chiropractor, went and got a deep tissue massage. Form and function, amazing place. The massage therapist I had today, she must have weighed maybe 100. 15, 120 pounds, but she did some damage to me. She got into my my chest really good. She got into my traps really good. It was really tight right now. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I'll put it on the screen. The sub octisipus, and she worked that a lot. So I'm gonna be doing uh, a sports massage once a week to get some issues resolved. Chiropractics once a week. And then once we fix all the issues, it's, it's improved dramatically over the past week. I'll go to a maintenance plan of probably like a monthly sports massage, deep tissue massage, and chiropractic care. She got into my chest, so she would like grab right here and she'd pull, felt like she was pulling my chest muscles off. Wow, I feel good. Here it is. The sub-occipital muscles are a group of four muscles situated underneath the occipital bone. All of the muscles in this group are innervated by the suboccipital nerve. They are located within the suboccipital compartment of the neck. That's what's being worked, that's what's really tight right now. Feels like a million bucks right now. Holy crap, I feel so much better than I did a week ago. Yes. <laughs> Stopped by the warehouse, picked up a little training session. Um, tonight, I'm doing a 10 mile sunset run downtown Austin, which I can't wait for. I haven't done this for a few months now. And what I do is I start running the downtown Town Lake Loop, which is a 10 mile loop along the Colorado River. Start at sunset, and then by the time I'm done, like the last three or four miles, it's completely dark. So that's what I'm doing tonight. And then tomorrow morning, waking up, doing a 50 mile bike ride with my neighbor Jeff. So we're putting some, some miles on the bike. When I got to the gym today, Joe was training here. So I trained with Joe for a little bit. And then Joe left and I put on this album that I used to listen to all the time. The band is This Will Destroy You. They're all instrumental. Um, there's no lyrics. It's like, bring back some feels. Like that album brings back some memories to when I first launched and started Bayer Performance Nutrition. And like as I was training and finishing my workout and listening to this music, very, very just like emotionally driven music. Um, if you guys never heard of it, check out This Will Destroy You. It'll get you in the feels, it'll, it'll get you creatively thinking. And like, as I was training, finishing the session, it took me back to 2012. Specifically, when I, I launched Bayer Performance Nutrition, I spent all my money on the product itself, on the inventory. So I had no money left over for marketing or anything like that. And I was the model for the marketing material. So I dieted down for a few weeks to get ready for a photo shoot to build promotional material for you know the pre-workout launch at the time. It's all we had when we initially launched flight. And it took me back to training this gym in Indiana, Pennsylvania. It was a 24 hour gym and I would be training at like 1 a.m hitting cardio to expend some more calories, to lose weight for this photo shoot, just to wake up a few hours later, go to PT for Army ROTC. 
So like, it took me back to, in the beginning of getting ready to launch BPN, everything that had to go into it, and getting prepared to launch, and, and the work, the countless hours that was dedicated to it. And then to be in the gym here, you know, I love weekend training sessions where I'm by myself, and my mind just wanders back to the journey that's been for the last eight years. You know, August, it's August now, BPN's birthday is in August. Um, so, you know, just hit the eight year mark of being in business and to see where we, where we started and where we came. And I talk about the journey, the process a lot because a lot went into it. And I get so much passion and fulfillment out of this job, out of building a team, having people on the team and growing it and building it. I get so much passion and fulfillment out of this. I wouldn't trade it in for, for anything, nothing. So, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one.